Hello, my Ecom learners! A pleasant day to each and every one of you right now who are watching this video lesson. And today we're going to learn together once again. And saying so, for today we're going to talk about how to write a title for the topic that you have chosen. But uh, in the discussion, I am just going to use the topic that we had as an example in the previous video lessons. So, let's get started! Okay, as a sort of review sa nakarang discussion natin, at ipinag-usapan kung paanong gagawin specific ang isang broad na topic. So, let's watch this again. So, let's say, for example, you're going to choose something about marketing. Pero ang marketing is something which is still broad, isn't it? Marami pa rin mga bagay na kailangan may consider when we say marketing. It could be about uh, marketing strategies, or it could be about the product to sell, or it could also be about where would you put up a business if you are about to actually put up a business. Kapag online selling na siya, it is more specific. Online selling is an example of marketing strategy. Okay? So, kung ang topic mo is online selling, tanongin mo ngayon ang selling. I-test mo ang topic na online selling according to the three tests. Debatable ba siya? Sa panahon ngayon, oh, marami ang taong pinag-usapan ang tungkol sa online selling. Lalo na nga ang tayo ay nasa pandemya. Marami ang mga tao ang ngayon ay sumusubok ng online selling dahil sa mahirap na nga ang face-to-face. Sapagkat, of course, iniiwasan natin na ma-infect tayo ng virus na pumapatay o nakamamatay. Pangalawa, is it possible? Makakakuha ka ba ng maraming informasyon tungkol sa online selling? The answer is yes. Dahil marami na nga ang sumubok ng tungkol sa online selling, so definitely, marami ka ng taong makukuha ng informasyon tungkol sa online selling. Is it consequential? Masasabi ko na consequential siya. Dahil ang pag-aaral mo tungkol sa online selling ay magagamit din ng iba na maaaring, maaaring nag-iisip na Subukan din ang online selling, lalo sa panahon ngayon na mas gusto natin panatili sa ating mga tahanan. The topic marketing which we had in our previous discussion is still a little broad. So in order to narrow it down, we checked on it by means of using another approach, which is the TPT, until it led us to the specific topic, which is online selling. Let's talk about theme. When we say theme, it means your point of view. Or the unifying idea that you have in mind about the topic that you have chosen. Example, yung online selling. Ano nga ba ang gusto mo malaman tungkol sa online selling? Or ano nga ba ang target mo tungkol sa online selling? Gusto mo bang malaman kung mas malaki ang kita sa online selling kesa sa normal na marketing of product? Or gusto mong malaman kung madali ba na mag benta ng mga produkto gamit ang mga online platforms o di kaya gusto mong malaman kung paano ginamit ng mga tao ang online world sa pagbebenta ng kanilang mga produkto ngayong may pandemya o di kaya gusto mong malaman ang ibang ibang klase ng online platforms na pwedeng gamitin sa online setting. So that is what we call theme. Your focus idea about the topic. The next one is place. Of course, you should also have a focus of place considering your topic. So online selling, it has been existing not only in the Philippines but all over the world. There are a lot of people who are selling products online already. Nowadays, not only during the pandemic time. So the question is, anong focus mo? International ba? Or only here in the Philippines? I would say you choose the second one, which is online selling here in the Philippines. Or you could even limit it. Pwedeng online selling sa barangay mo. But at least, ang magiging respondents mo are only the people in your barangay who are somehow selling products online. Mas madali ka makakakuha ng information or ng data that you needed in accordance with the topic that you've chosen. The next one is time. As we all know, online selling has been existing not only during the pandemic, but even before the pandemic. So you choose one. Anong focus mo? Online selling before the pandemic or online selling during the pandemic? So if I were to choose, then I would choose the second one. Online selling during the pandemic. Now considering those discussed in the 
previous lesson. Here is an example of a research title. Ang tanong, paanong nabuo ang i-search title nito? From the broad topic marketing, we created subtopics which are the following. Pag pipiliin mo ang marketing as your target topic, kailangan mo rin alam yun. Anong specific na bagay ang gusto mo na maging focus ng research mo? Which is of course related to the topic marketing. Sa usaping paano nabuo ang research title na ipinakita, Pinili natin na mag-focus sa number one, which is strategies in selling. Then, we came down to the specific topic, which is online selling. Afterwards, we follow the next steps, which are identifying the TPT or the theme, place, and time. In accordance with the research title presented, when we say theme, it is the idea or the point of view of the researcher. So, ang theme... According to the research title is coping mechanism. Ibig sabihin, ikaw bilang researcher, you think and you understand that people nowadays who are running a business use the online selling as their coping mechanism or paraan nila para makayanan ng challenges na dulot ang pandemya sa kanilang kabuhayan. Yun ang point of view ng researcher which may also lead to the result or target outcome of the research as seen in the title. Furthermore, talking about place, rather than having a big number of respondents to the study, pinaliit natin ang lokal into choosing just the barangay where the researcher is living. So, iyon ang tumutukoy sa place na nakasaad din sa research title. Accordingly, usaping Oras o time naman, pinili natin na mag-focus sa gamit ng online selling sa panahon ng pandemya. And that is how the title was crafted. Now, I'd like you to also be aware of the fundamental parts of a research title which are also evident in that example title. We actually have five. The topic, the result, the sample, the local, and methodology. Let's start with the topic. Obviously, the topic is online selling. And then the result. Our expected result or our target is to prove that the online selling has been used by a lot of people as a coping mechanism amidst the pandemic, specifically the small businesses. And these small businesses or business owners would be our sample. So again, our sample or our respondents would be the small business owners. And for the local, it is going to be the Barangay Edition Hills. And for the methodology, looking at the research title, we could say that the methodology to be used by the researcher is qualitative method. Bakit? Kasi hindi ang bilang ng small businesses sa Barangay Edition Hills na sumubok sa online selling ang target ng research kundi kung paano nakatulong sa kanila ang online selling para magpatuloy ang business nila and not to totally go bankrupt or to totally stop the business. So that is how we identify the five fundamental parts of a research title. And definitely, when we write our own research title, as much as possible, we have to consider this the five fundamental parts. But it is okay not to really mention the method that we are going to use or specifically not to, to write in the title whether it is qualitative or quantitative. It's just okay. Because somehow, it is also going to be evident in the research title itself. Okay, so again, these are the five fundamental parts of a research title. And now it's your turn to create your own research title. So click the business link in the video description down below and to the test. That will be all for today and have a good day everyone and always have a happy heart.